right, third graders, for our grammar today, we are going to be working on verbs, okay? We are not going to be doing action verbs, though. Now we're switching to be, do, and have. Am, is, and are are present tense forms of the verb be. Do and does are present tense forms. Hi! All right, third graders, our grammar lesson today is on verbs again. We have be verbs, do verbs, and have verbs. Am, is, and are are present tense forms of the verb be. Do and does are present tense forms of the verb do. Have and has are present tense forms of the verb have. Some examples, I am, a boy is, boys are. Those are be verbs. I do, a boy does, boys do. Those are do verbs. I have, a boy has, boys have. Those are all have verbs. The verbs be, do, and have all have special forms in the present tense. The chart shows which form to use with a sentence subject. Okay, so here are your subjects over here. And then depending on what category, these are your be verbs, am, is, are. These are your do verbs, do, does, and then do again. And these are your have verbs, have, has, and then have again. Okay, practice. Identify the verb and the original form it comes from. Let's look at number one. The pot's handle is hot. Is is my verb. Here is is, so it is a be verb. Number two, I am a good cook. My verb is am. The reason they use am is because I am, and it's a be verb. Number three, the boys have a salad with dinner. Okay, here's my verb, have. If I go up here, here's have. Okay, my subject is the boys. So that would be they. They have. So it's a have verb. Mike does a great job in the kitchen. My verb is does. Okay, Mike is a he, so that's my subject. He does. And then that would be a do verb. The last one, number five. The chef has all of the pots on a rack. So my verb is has. If I go up to my chart, here's has. The chef, that would be it. It has, and it's a have verb. Okay, your job, okay, here's the same chart that was just on the previous um, flip chart. So your direction here, write the correct present tense form of be. So numbers one through five, you're only going to use the be verbs. Okay, number six through 10, it says write the correct present tense form of do. So six through 10, I'm only going to use the do verbs. And then 11 through 15, I'm going to use the have verbs. Okay, so let's do one for each of them. Okay, number one. Now I'm using the B, so I'm just using these three words. And my subject is she. She blank, our favorite baker. Okay, here's she. I'm using the B verbs. She is our favorite baker. So I would put is on that line. Okay, number six. 
Now I'm changing. I'm using the do verbs. So I'm only going to use this column. It blank take a lot of work to pick strawberries. Okay, here's my subject, it. I have to use the do column. So it does take a lot of work to pick strawberries. Okay, number 11, now I'm going to use the have column. So I'm only going to use this column over here. My subject, we. We blank many strawberry plants in our garden. Okay, so I'm gonna go up, here's we. I'm gonna slide across to my have column and I'm gonna use the word have. We have many strawberry plants in our garden. Okay, so we just did number one, number six, and number 11 together. Okay, your job is to finish the rest of the sheet. Remember, numbers one through five are B verbs, so you are only using these. Look at each of your subjects, match it up with one of the, v, the B verbs. Number six through 10, you are using the do verbs. Okay, one through five is B, six through 10 do. So you're only going to use these. Again, look at your subjects, match them up with just the do column. Number 11 through 15, you are using the have column. Okay, so again, look at each of your subjects, match it up with one of these words. Okay, once you are finished, then you go ahead and check it.